ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் டு ஆர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் மேக்னெட்டிக் எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் ஆஃப் சிபிஎஸ்இ கிளாஸ் டென் ஸோ இந்த இஸ் லெசன் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் இஸ் எலக்ட்ரிக் மோட்டார் இன் ஆர் ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஹாவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் ஃபோர்ஸ் எக்ஸர்டட் வென் டஸ் த ஃபோர்ஸ் எக்ஸர்டட் when magnetic field and the electric current when they are perpendicular to each other force has been exerted so here <coughs> i'm going to continue the class with electric motor so electric motor very commonly used in electric fans refrigerator <coughs> washing machine and so ma- so many appliances so what is the how does this electric motor works and what is the principle behind it <coughs> now let us discuss about those things <coughs> principle <coughs> we know that electric motor is a rotating device which turns the electrical energy which converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy and the <coughs> basic principle behind the electric motor is the Fleming's left hand rule. We'll just recall Fleming's left hand rule. Fleming's left hand rule state that <coughs> stretch the uh, forefinger, middle finger and thumb of your left hand perpendicularly to each other. If forefinger indicates the direction of the magnetic field and the middle finger indicates the direction of the current, then thumb indicates the direction of the magnetic field. force so here based on that only the electric motor works now <clears throat> let me explain you about the construction of a simple electric motor for uh, to construct a simple electric motor we need certain things the very first thing is we need a magnetic <coughs> field and we need a armature coil then we need a split ring then brushes at last we need a electric source that is battery so how can we have a magnetic field so magnetic field can be uh, <coughs> have by having a north pole and as well as the south pole so we need a strong magnetic field so in uh, to ensure the strong magnetic field we'll have a north pole at one side and the south pole at the other side then we need a armature coil what is this armature coil armature coil is a rectangular coil which has number of turns you can find the armature coil in between the poles of the magnet then <coughs> we need a split ring split ring is a circular ring which has a split in between and each half of the split ring will be connected with the each arm of the armature coil and next we need brushes and you can find the brushes here and brushes they are made up of uh, carbon or graphite and they are acting as a contact slide between the external circuit and as well as the armature coil <coughs> and then we need a battery and battery is a ultimate elect- electrical source so this is how you have to connect from battery then key and these batteries should be connected with the brushes and brush having a contact with the split ring and then split ring has been connected with the armature coil and split ring generally here it is acting as a commutator what do you mean by commutator commutator means <coughs> a device which reverses the direction in the armature coil okay and here 
split ring as uh, act as a commutator because it reverses the direction of the current in the armature coil. Now, let me explain you how does this magnet um, electric motor works. So, we know that uh, about the magnetic field. Uh, always magnetic field lines will move from the north pole to the south pole. So, now you can see the direction of the magnetic field. So, let me draw that direction. This is the direction of the magnetic field and if we switch on the battery, what happens here is the positive terminal. So, the current flows from positive to the x and then P and then A, B, C, D, then Y, Q, Y and then negative terminal of the battery. Okay. So, when the current flows through that, what happened and before that the split ring has a axle, inner part of the split ring has the insulation and that has been connected with the axle. Now, when, the, when we switch on the key, the current started to flow, <coughs> the current started to flow from brush X and then one half of the split ring that is P and then A, B, C, D. So, when you take A, B, C, D, these two arms, A, B arm and C, D arm, in A, B arm you can notice that the current is towards upward. Okay. When the current flows in that side, now let us apply the <coughs> Fleming's left hand rule. Okay. So, in such that how you are supposed to keep your finger is, you have to keep the finger according to the magnetic field. So, four finger towards the magnetic field okay, and then current flows towards the upward, vertically upward. Then you can show that this uh, um, thumb indicates the direction of the force. So, which makes this arm to move down. Okay. Now, we will switch on to the CD arm. If you see the CD arm, the direction of the current is from C to D vertically downward. So, now let us align the finger according to that <coughs> magnetic field, there is, no there is no change in the direction. So, you are supposed to keep it like this and your uh, middle finger indicates the direction of the current, current is vertically downward and your thumb indicates the direction of the force. So, it makes the arm to come up. Okay? So, because of that, in this AB arm, the force is acting on the coil and makes that AB arm to move down. And in CD arm, the force which is acting on the uh, coil makes that CD arm to move up. So, if you see, if you, so that what will happen, this armature coil will go down, this, I mean, this AB side will go down and CD side will come up. So, it makes the armature coil to rotate. So, once it completes the half rotation, what will happen? This we know that split ring, one half of the split ring we have denoted with P and the other half is Q. So, what will happen? This Q will come this side and P will go that side. So, let me draw the diagram for that. we have the magnetic pole, north pole and south pole. Then we have the armature coil. Armature coil has been connected with the split ring. Then split ring has been connected with the brushes and brushes have been connected with the battery. So, this is the x and y. Okay. So, I am drawing the diagram which is after the half rotation. So, in that case what happens? Uh, this armature coil has been half rotated. So, it become d c b a. So, c d arm will come this side and a b arm will go that side. So, this split ring P Q will become, Q will come this side and P will go that side. So, after the half rotation, it looks like this. 
ok. So, again what happened the current will flows through x q d c b a when current flows through d c b a again this c d arm will go down because now the current is towards upward vertically upward and b a uh, a b arm it is vertically downward. So, th the current will make I mean the magnetic field and as well as the current makes exert the force and it makes it the c d arm to go down and a b arm to come up. So, it keeps on rotates. So, this is how the electric motor works. <coughs> so, you can see here, so what happens when the current flows through this, this it makes the armature coil to rotate. So, you can see here this armature, I mean a split ring also moves along with the armature coil. So, after the half rotation, the uh, other end will have an a contact with the this brush. So, that what happened the current uh, the direction of the current will keep on changes in the armature coil when the direction keeps on change it makes the coil to rotate ok. So, this is how the electric motor works. <coughs> now, in a commercial motors what happens they have made some uh, changes in order to enhance the power of the motor. So, what are all the changes they have made? The very first change is they, they use the electromagnet in place of permanent magnet and also they will use the um, large number of turns of conducting wire. So, armature coil will have the large number of turns so that it will conduct more current as a result more uh, force will be exerted and uh, <coughs> soft iron core. So, the uh, armature coil has been wounded with the soft iron core. So, they will I mean uh, they will use the soft iron inst instead of the other uh, other objects. So, that what happened they will get uh, good magnetic field and as well as the maximum force. So, that they can en enhance the power of the electric motor. So, that is all about the electric motor children. Uh, please do subscribe our channel to get the latest updates. Thank you children.